Welcome friends in Enfigan once again in this very very exciting video of algebraic expressions. In this video we are going to factorize actually two expressions and in multi ways. So let's get started without wasting time I will write here method number one. This question I will demonstrate I guess two three methods and then we will take up one more question based on factorization. So let me write method number one. See the conventional method. Let us consider the first one as conventional, the general method. So I can write, this is already perfect square. If you can see, it is x cube whole square plus 1 over x cube whole square. And see it is minus 2. So you can think it is 2 times x cube times 1 over x cube. So it is still minus 2. Now, now compare with the ideal algebraic identity or formula. This is a square plus b square minus 2ab. a is x cube, b is 1 over x cube. So this is ultimately a minus b whole a square identity. So what I can write here, it is x cube minus 1 over x cube whole a square factorization done. This is not method 1. Method 1, way 1 or approach 1. Now method 1, way 2. We can think about the plus reciprocal equation. We have considered x cube minus 1 over x cube. So anyone can form x cube plus 1 over x cube. So what we will write x6 plus 1 over x power 6. Then we can write plus 2 minus 4. This equation. Okay, now from first three term, we will write x cube plus 1 over x cube whole square. You can check a square is x6, b square is 1 over x power 6 and 2 times x cube times 1 over x cube, so plus 2. And this minus 4, we will think about 2 square. Now one powerful identity, the difference of 2 squares, a square minus b square a plus b times a minus b. Let's apply. So a plus b, I will write plus b, so plus 2 and minus b, so I will write x cube plus 1 over x cube minus 2. So two ways you have seen, this one and this one. Now let's consider the third way, which we will call method number 2. I will split this minus 2. How it will be split? I will consider plus 1 minus 3. See what will happen after that. I will write x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6 plus 1 minus 3. So 3 we can think about it is written x power 6 1 over x power 6 times 1. Now you can consider this one as, let me write that identity first so that you can understand a q plus b q plus c q minus 3 a b c. It is equal to a plus b plus c times a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a. This is what we know. Okay. Now I will see the given expression as x square whole cube plus 1 over x square whole cube a cube b cube done. Third one is 1 whole cube minus 3 a b c. So I can consider x power 2, 1 over x power 2 and c is 1. So this is the identity which I am going to use here. Okay. Now you can see earlier it was written x power 6 times 1 over x power 6. So now we will consider this for cubic identity you can write here any power. So as per our demand it is x square required. So let's apply. Let me write here the result which we will collect. 
So this value will become x is square plus a plus b plus c I am writing. This is square plus 1, c is 1. You can write here our a is x is square, b is 1 over x is square, c is 1. Now second bracket, a is square, so x power 4, b is square, so 1 over x power 4, c is square, c is 1, 1, minus a b, minus 1, x is square times 1 over x is square, that will be cancelled with negative sign, so minus 1, minus b c, so minus 1 over x is square, minus c a, so minus x is square. Now you will cancel plus 1 and minus 1 easily. So your factorization is done. That is x square plus 1 over x square plus 1 in one bracket. In second bracket we will write x power 4 plus 1 over x power 4 minus x square minus 1 over x square. This is third way of solving or the method which we you can use basically for factorization. Then let's take the third case. Third case means the third problem. I will consider it is second problem but method is third or fourth. So it is conventional method we can follow. So I will solve this again using two methods. We can think about a power 4 plus b power 4 plus 2a square b square. Then I need to write over there minus 29 a square b square. This is one approach. Second approach. a power 4 plus b power 4 minus 2a square b square and then ultimate total is minus 27. Minus 25 a square b square. Generally we used to consider this method. But this is also possible. This one. So let us find out the factorization. So I will consider from first three terms. I will write here it is a square plus b square whole square. And second term we can write is square root 29 ab whole square. The difference of two squares we will use. Now second equation. You can write it is from first three term. You will write it is a square minus b square whole square and minus 25 we can write 5ab whole square. Again difference of two squares. So answer is clear. Here we will write a square plus b square plus root 29ab plus is done. Now minus a square plus b square minus root 29ab. Second answer we can write a square minus b square plus 5ab and second parenthesis we will write a square minus b square minus 5ab. So you can see both the factorization are there. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.